I mowed here at Bollington on the Macclesfield Canal in Cheshire. As a continuous cruiser, I have to move every 14 days, so I've come up here, and as you can see, violets stacked up on the roof with plenty of coal, which I bought up from the marina, which is a little bit further ahead. Just looking here, there's an old mill building which has been converted into apartments. More just behind Violet is this boat here which is one of the boats which cruises up and down the canal selling as coal, colour gas, diesel and a little bit of a lifesaver really. There's some boats moored to a breast behind the canal boat. Probably nobody living on them now because it's getting into the winter. One of the day boat hire boats for the summer periods. There's a marina shop where I loaded my 10 bags of coal onto the roof yesterday and just ahead is a turning point where I turn Violet around. It was a blowing a gale yesterday when I was I came up the canal to get into this little nook and turn Violet around. I thought I might have been struggling but fortunately it turned out not to be too difficult to do it on my own. I'll walk up a little bit up the canal and show you a little bit more. Unfortunately it's a little bit of a grey day today. That little bit of a cold wind's got up again. I'm going to come down these steep steps and take a walk down the steps and I'll take a walk along the path which was an old railway line. Down the steps there's the aqueduct over the, uh, carrying the canal over this roadway and panning around past that lovely lady and there's a pathway it only takes a very few steps away from the canal and everything changes to a busy road one of the streets of Bollington and here is the path which was an old railway line which was closed in the 60s during to the beach hum cuts. These stones here are called the Bollington Labyrinth. It's the sort of thing that I would imagine seeing some sort of young nubile ladies doing a, a fertility dance <laughs> during the summer solstice. But it's just here mainly as a work of art and according to the, the sign it'll give you a little bit of, bit of inner peace. Looking up further along this old railway path but I'll walk back now to the canal, walk along the tour path and we'll investigate the canal closure. Back on the canal tour path and I'm walking up to the canal closure where they've drained the canal to do some works. Some very nice houses backing onto the canal. Lovely gardens with their own private jetties. You don't need to go to China to see a panda, just come to Bollington on the Macclesfield Canal. These homeowners here have it all, have nice homes and their narrow boats moored at the bottom of their gardens on their own private jetties, what could be better? These ducks have good insulation. 
that water temperature is probably not far <laughs> much above freezing. Coming up to the canal closure now. The canal and river trust to put those boys there to stop any river traffic going any further. Anybody <laughs> unwary enough to come this far would need to back up and unfortunately our narrow boats don't stay very well at times in reverse so it'd be a bit of a job to get back up the canal to that turning point to head back again. Looking back up the canal with water in it from bid number 27 there's the canal with the water in it we'll pan round over the other side and the canal drained as you can see the, the canal is not really that deep I would say I guess it'd be no more than three foot at the sides and going to probably never much more than about six feet deep in the middle so if ever you fall in the canal the best thing to do is just try and stand up look at the coffer dam that has been built to stop the water those planks go into grooves that have been cut into the canal stone sides those planks are at every bridge so in case there might be a breach they block the canal off so they don't lose all the water repair the breach and then take the planks out again walking across an aqueduct <laughs> carrying a now empty canal over the roadway below coming up to the site of the works adjacent to this old converted mill I'll walk across this bridge and see if I can film a little bit of the workings there's an excavator cleaning some of the silt out the canal bottom and just generally tidying the sides up I think you'll agree the Macclesfield Canal looks a little bit forlorn drained of water but come spring the works will be completed the canal will be in water again and us continuous cruisers and holiday, holiday makers will be enjoying the canal I'll walk back now to Violet have some lunch, cast off cruise back to Macclesfield the engine will get my water nice and hot so I'll have a nice hot shower bye for now